Hi, I'm Shauna Coronado and today we're going to be making some delicious cabbage soup in my late summer front lawn vegetable garden. And we're going to be doing it using garlic, ham, and fresh cabbage. Totally yummy. <laughs> so let's jump into the Google Plus Hangout right now and see how it's done. Hey, I'm Shauna Coronado and today we're in my front lawn vegetable garden and we're talking all about healthy eating for $10, under $10, and better yet, only in 10 minutes. And today we have a special guest, Annie. Annie Haven, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Thank you, Shauna. It's a pleasure to be back in your front yard garden with all this fresh food and bringing these wonderful recipes and ideas, inspiration to get people to eat. Yay! Yeah, Help. definitely a good thing. So today, what we're going to do is prepare cabbage soup. Now, here's the deal. Instead of being 10 minutes for the whole soup, this is 10 minutes to prepare it, and then you'd have to leave it sautéing on the stove or in the crock pot So you know, for several hours. And it's, so it's easy to throw together. You can go do your laundry, and then when you come back, it'll be all done. Does that make sense? And here's what we're going to do first. I have, for this cabbage soup, cabbage, and what we do is we just shred the cabbage. We also have carrots and onions. And we're going to toss, there is no rhyme or rule to this. We're going to toss everything in together. All of this cabbage goes in, or as much as you can make fit. All of the carrots into the pan. A two tablespoons of garlic, or really as much as you want to put in, because I love me some garlic. You can never have enough garlic, I say. That's it. Onions. Oh, I can hear it sizzling right now. Wow, I just had a bee swarm me. Come on, bee, go away. <laughs> the hazards of working outdoors. He's well, I tell you what, it's actually kind of fun to cook outdoors. So I I need more outdoor cooking. I'm thinking <laughs> that I should be cooking with margaritas as well, but I'm just saying, you know. And so what we do is we slice the onion up super thin. Like this, and we throw it in just like this. Break it up a little bit, toss it right in with all the other ingredients. And here's where the rotisserie chicken comes in. So, I already cooked two meals using this rotisserie chicken. He's looking pretty good, right? He's just the carcass. But the thing is, is that if you boil this in water for several hours, you can make your own chicken broth. So you can either make your own chicken broth from this, and we already have, by the way, I have a finished dish that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So I'm going to hand this off to my, my helper back there. And instead, the other choice is, is that you could use like an organic chicken stock. We're going to put two 32-ounce... Woo! It's like a volcano here. We're going to use two 32-ounce boxes of organic chicken stock, or of course any chicken broth you have. Um, one of the things that I've done before is prepared the chicken stock or chicken broth, and then froze it. You know, so you could freeze it in glass. Um, it, it keeps for about 30 days, sometimes longer, so I really like it when I mix it in with it. And then I have something that I grew up on. I have a German-Irish heritage, and we cook this all the time. It's ham. Now, since we paid absolutely nothing for that chicken broth, if we were making it from the carcass of the chicken, we could do a boneless ham steak. This one came from Costco. They sell them in three packs for $11. So essentially it's just a couple, just a couple of bucks for this ham steak. 
And then what we're going to do is chop it in little pieces, bite-sized pieces, pe pizzas, bite-sized pizzas, and toss it in there too. So let's give it all a choppity chop here. You know, so, and that with the ham like the chicken, Shauna, if you're getting three of those steaks, then we're looking at some really wonderful white bean and ham soup. Oh. You can, exactly. You have more that you could do with those steak, the ham steaks. No more denying. creative meals for under ten dollars in under ten minutes. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Exactly. So we're gonna put it right. <laughs> we're gonna put it right in the pan, and then we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna let it simmer. So that's the entire preparation. I mean, that's it for. The, for your meal. So less than 10 minutes to put the whole thing together. And then what we do through the magic of the internet is I hide that. <laughs> and the mystery unveiled of how exactly. that happens. <laughs> and I show you the final la ti da. So here we go. A la ti da. There it is. Beautiful. In that lovely locker safe. Now, one of the things that I, I also, and here's the thing, it with the ham in it, it does have a significant amount of salt. So you can choose whether you want to add more salt or not. It's it's an you know independent decision on what you want. But one thing I really thank you. One thing I really like to add though is pepper. My dad, when I was growing up, used to make a vegetable soup. That vegetable soup was smothered in so much cracked black pepper that your mouth was on fire when you ate it. I loved it. You put a little parsley on top to give it that color and shabang! Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> Another fantastic meal. And you know, if they're putting that into a slow cooker to toss that together in the morning. Put it on low, walk out the door, it's ready either for lunch or dinner. So simple. So healthy. It totally reminds me of my childhood. Because I spent a lot of time eating Whoa, bee is attacking me. I spent a lot of time as a kid really focused on, you know, home cooked, easy food to make. And this is what this is. And it tastes delicious with the cabbage. So there you have it, Annie. Under 10 minutes, I have <laughs> such a good, <clears throat> wow, the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> that was spicy. That's the spicy. I loved having you today, Annie, and thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait until next time when I get to see you again and cook something else with you. Thank you. I think a little white bean and, and, and ham soup for, you know, we're coming into fall now, so let's get those good wholesome 10 minutes meals put together and I really look forward I'm gonna enjoy sharing this with those that follow me great inspiration Yay. well thank you Annie Haven for coming and joining us today and you have a fantastic morning I will and to Google Plus for being so great to help bring this all together fantastic Shauna <laughs>